What's up, this is Insanity, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do what's called the Russian kick. Now the Russian kick has uh, a background that actually comes from Russian folk dancing, which is why they call it the Russian kick. Um, I actually learned this move um, from first from, from going to uh, these folk dancing festivals with my, my grandfather. It's called the Camellia Festival, where they have uh, folk dancing from all over the, um, the world come in and compete in these little competitions at Sacramento State University. Um, pretty much I, I've learned little detailed things that people would do it down here on the floor versus you know most most of the um, folk dancing was done standing but every once in a while you'd see something on the floor so that's what really kind of inspired me um, at first like doing footwork and uh, even before I was break dancing just messing around with stuff like this so what you're gonna do is start off learning just how to be in this position this is like your neutral position this is where you should start off learn how to balance like this after you get comfortable with this then what you want to do is put one foot out and what you want to do is practice switching it with your other foot. So just going back and forth. If this is hard for you, put one hand on the floor and just switch like this or even if you need to, two hands. What you want to do though is make sure you're in this neutral position, not leaning back or forward because that's where you're going to have some trouble. So you're here, switch, and when you get comfortable then you're going to go jump, switch, jump, switch, jump, switch. After you get comfortable with that, you're going to really learn um, how to switch faster. So you'll be here, and then eventually you can just kind of like run in place. And if you could imagine the Russian dancers, they're like, right? But we're going to actually add the kick. So this is kind of like our, our base of the, of the Russian kick, uh, but now we're going to add the kick. So from this position, your arm's going to lean back, your leg is going to go up in the air. When your leg kicks down, you are going to lean forward and you're going to clap. Just as if you just did this to this. So your leg goes back. When it comes here, you're going to bend your, your arms and your arms are going to push you forward. At the same time, your leg kicks. So it's kind of like doing a kick up, but from this position. So you go kick, push, clap. So you go back, kick, clap. Kick, clap, kick, clap, kick, clap. A little faster, kick, clap, 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 clap. When you do this, um, this kind of gives you the basic motion of it. And a way that you can make it a lot uh, more powerful is actually practicing going all the way to standing. So basically what you have to do is from here, you kick your foot to the ground and you're gonna stand up from here. So you start with your knees, move to your hips, bring all the way to your chest, all the way to standing. So back again. You kick, your foot goes down, knees, hips, standing. One more time. Boom, knees, all the way to standing. So all together it'll look like this. Boom, all the way up. So now to incorporate that into your smaller kicks, it goes like this. One, two, three, up. One more time, it goes here. One, two, three, up. Practice this until you're comfortable. Um, again, it does take time. It does, you know, take a little bit of adjusting. But once you're good at it, it's gonna be real easy and it's gonna look real nice. Um, this is also something good to incorporate with CC's and footwork that's in this type of position. So for example, if you're doing CC's, you could go back and forth, right, and just kind of mix it up. So again, practice this, even do a little research on it. You can look up um, even some Russian folk dancing, maybe pick up some other little mini steps that you'll see in that. Um, again, like learning your history of dancing and learning um, some of the cultures that have been incorporated into this is a really, really inspiring experience. So, you know, do your research, do your homework, and you guys are gonna find uh, a lot more things that you didn't know about the stuff that you're doing. All right? Again, take care. Peace out.
If you guys are interested in buying this t-shirt, you can get it online at www.districtlions.com slash TV. Check it out, it's only $15. Uh, it's great for this hot weather that is going to be upon you guys. Peace out.